Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to improve upon the Sinus regulator by adding a transistor. Let's do a quick analysis to see how this circuit works. So we have an unregulated input and we want to provide a regulated output. And we can use the Sinus to help with that. So we are going to have a current going through our in RS. In this case, the current is the same as in the previous example, meaning it's going to be IS, it's going to be V output, V input minus V output, so a different input potential there, over RS. And this current then is going to need to be enough to bias the thinner diode, collector current, and load current. Okay, now because the sinner is in series with the base of the transistor, this is going to be a small current, right? This is going to be actually IC over beta. Now, what's going to be the output voltage? The output voltage, if this is as uh, a sinner with enough current in, re in reverse breakdown, it is going to be the sinner voltage plus the voltage drop, the voltage between the base and emitter, which is approximately 0 0.7, okay? So that's what we have here. The output is the sinner voltage plus 0 0.7. The IS is the same as before, V input minus V output over RS. The load current is V output over RL. And we just need to make sure, I mean, IC, the collector current is going to be IS minus IL. This is the same that we have before. But one advantage is that now the thinner current is actually IC divided by beta. So this not only allows you, it's going to, the thinner current is going to draw less current. From the load, but also if you realize you have an element here with negative feedback. Now, this inner base regulator can also be improved significantly, and we're going to see it in the next example. Thank you.